This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. This is the first of three chapters that cover adding data to a map project. This chapter covers two different topics, connecting to a folder, which will streamline adding data from a local folder on your computer, and connecting to a GIS server, which enables you to add data from an outside source with an internet connection, also known as cloud-based data. In ArcGIS Pro, you can access data, projects, and map documents by navigating to the folder, just like any Windows-based environment. However, ArcGIS Pro has an option to connect directly to that folder within a map project. Essentially, this creates a shortcut to the data and therefore enables access to data files much more quickly. Let's begin by using the end of the Chapter 3 project. These layers came from importing an ArcGIS desktop MXD file. Let's connect to that data folder. Choose the Insert tab and then click Add Folder. In the Add Folder Connection dialog box, navigate to the folder that contains your data, select it, then click OK. It may look like nothing happened, but select Catalog. Click on Folders, and the folders to which the project is connected display in the window on the right-hand side. You now have a shortcut to the data folder. Adding data from this folder can be done much more efficiently than navigating through the Windows file system. Large amounts of spatial data assets have become freely available to use in GIS programs. Some of these data may be proprietary, extremely large files, updated frequently, or are data files that are not readily downloadable. In these situations, data files are often provided via a distributed data system. Accessing a GIS data server has benefits. One is that these data assets can be centrally managed. This is critical for more complex data assets that may require frequent updating, for example, parcel data or road networks. This ensures that end users are accessing the most up-to-date version of the data. Another benefit is that GIS data services provide an efficient mechanism to disseminate large data files, which might include ortho-image mosaics or aerial photography. These spatial data files can be streamed to multiple users in formats that are software ready. Many entities, including local governments, state agencies, federal agencies, other nonprofits and private companies make their data assets available via a GIS server connection. ESRI's ArcGIS Pro was designed to communicate with these services and ingest their data into map projects connected to these servers. To find GIS services, conduct an internet search or contact the imagery's owner for the appropriate URL. Let's connect to the Virginia Base Map Program's GIS data streaming service. We will need this URL for the service. To connect to the online GIS server, go to the Insert tab, then click on Connections. From the drop-down menu, choose New ArcGIS Server. Enter the URL in the server URL box. For some servers, you may need a username and password. It's not required for this server. Let's check to see that the service was added. Go to the Catalog tab, click on Servers, and the server connection is now showing. Nothing is showing yet in the Layers display because no images have been added. To add an image from the service, first double-click on the server name. A list of available options displays. 
Let's add 2002 imagery. Open the VBMP 2002 folder and an image name displays. Right-click on the image name to get a list of options for adding. Add it to your current map. The project is now connected to data that is streaming from an online server. Is it possible to conduct analysis with online servers? That depends on the specific server configuration. Refer to the metadata associated with this server connection. ArcGIS Online is a cloud-based geospatial data sharing portal maintained by ESRI. You can access data, projects, and map documents made publicly available from a variety of entities through this online portal. When you open ArcGIS Pro, signing into your organization's account also connected you to ArcGIS Online servers. If no base map was chosen when the project was first set up, it can now be added under the Map tab and by clicking on Base Map, or you can add it at any later date. Many base map options are available. Just click on a base map thumbnail to add it to your project. To gain access to the multitude of data on ArcGIS Online Portal, click on the Catalog tab. Click on Portal. This connection allows access to any con content you have added to your organization's online content through the My Content folder. Groups provides access to any groups to which you belong, and All Portal provides access to public ArcGIS Online content. To search for data, open All Portal and the search box opens on the right. Let's search for Virginia weather data. Locate traffic weather related. You may want to use the headings of the columns to alphabetize the data to make it easier to find. You can organize by name, type, date, or owner. To get metadata, which is information about the data, just highlight the layer name and it displays on the right. Some items in ArcGIS Online can be added directly to the map project. Some items can only be opened as a standalone project. Locate Bike Fairfax, which is a map image layer. Right click and the drop down menu shows Add to Layers or Add to a New Map or Scene. These data can be added to an existing map or opened as a new map. Let's try Current Weather from Viper, a web map. Right click when you find it. This provided only one option, Add and Open. A new map tab shows with the layer displayed. Let's do a search on all portals now for imagery. There is a wealth of information you can find on imagery. Search again for NAIP, N-A-I-P, the National Agricultural Imagery Program. Note the wealth of NAIP imagery that's out there too. There are three options for NAEP imagery, True Color, Color Infrared, or NDBI. NAEP products cover the U.S., however, there are also several imagery sources available for other geographic regions of the globe as well. Of course, the advantages of these services are that they are being served and maintained by someone else. These layers are being seamlessly shared with users across the globe. In this chapter, we demonstrated how to access data through a local drive connection and through an internet connection. In the next chapter, we discuss the project's geodatabase and how to add data to it.